It's a good morning. Hello, I'm Gareth Hall and welcome to our new series of Thrill of the Chase. It's a terrific time for Greyhound Racing. The biggest races have arrived, including the greatest race in Greyhound Racing, the Tab Melbourne Cup, and it's time to welcome in the panel. Molly Haynes, welcome back to Thrill of the Chase. Have you enjoyed your little bit of break? I have. It's been great to have a bit of time off, time away from the sport yeah. to, to an extent, but so excited about Melbourne Cup. George Ferugia, hello to you on Melbourne Cup heat yeah. night, but it started pretty early on Friday night. Yeah, it did with a dead heat. I'll tell you what the best part of the whole night was, was actually seeing a crowd there. And let's review the Melbourne Cup heats from Friday night, and it started with a bit of drama. Co Blends was the shortest prize favourite in the heats. He jumps from an inside draw here, Georgie. And he jumps brilliantly, but what about the performance of Japara from box number six? And let's head to the Eureka Towers here to catch up with Jason Adams and Dan Hibbert. What about Dan Hibbert calling his first Melbourne Cup next Friday night? Hello to you, Jason and uh, Dan. What's the atmosphere like there, Eureka? Thanks, Garrison. Yeah, the atmosphere is through the roof. You speak about the nerves of these participants who have one made it through to the world's greatest greyhound race, and now it's make or break when it comes to the box draw. And I'm joined by Dan Hibbard, the voice of the 2021 Tab Melbourne Cup. And Dan, it's a big event and there's so much riding on it as well. It's a huge event and I'm uh, really excited to be here. And um, this box draw is gonna make or break a lot of uh, a lot of dogs first Friday night. And you can't win the Tab Melbourne Cup at the box draw, but you can definitely lose it. Yeah, thanks Gareth, you're spot on. I mean, a lot of these greyhounds, they're, they're as fast as each other, but it all totally relies on what draw they come up with. We'll get underway shortly. So far, Lakeview Walter in six, Kins on Vale at eight. Aussie Secret. And Aussie Secret, trained by Jason Thompson. Ron Hood representing the Thompson team, who is the father of Shona Thompson. And Aussie Secret, this is vitally important to the rest of the race. He's drawn box number one which is an absolute spanner in the works. He makes a comment saying he's in awful trouble. This is Molly's new segment. It's called For the Love of the Dog. Let's check it out. I'm here with Rowan Wagner and Rearview Mira, who both have an alternative way to training a greyhound. Rowan, welcome. Thank you for having me. Georgie Fridge, I'm looking forward to this. One to watch, mate. Take it away. Absolutely. Uh, thank you, uh, Gareth. Uh, the greyhound to watch is a greyhound called Jungle Panther. Uh, and in fairness, guys, he's probably a greyhound that was one to watch before he even had his first race start. He's by Barsha Bale out of Uphill Jill. Now, we know uh, about Uphill Jill's exploits as a producer. Uh, she's got a Melbourne Cup contender in Cablenz. Um, Reid Dunn there after the box draw, Quinny. Hello to you. Welcome to Thrill of the Chase. Is Ashton Rupi still the favourite after drawing box four? Yes, yeah, still the clear favourite, Gareth. Just a little bit of tinkering at the top of the market. The favourite, Aston Rupi, was as short as $2.40. Just pushed out ever so slightly to be a $2.50 market leader. This is why we love this great game. It is, it is. Yep. Thanks for your company on Thrill of the Chase. Hopefully you can join us Friday night live from Sandown Park. Have a wonderful Sunday.